Good afternoon guys. Today's Tuesday. I usually take Tuesdays off from selling ice cream at the bridge. Um, so that means we have an exploring day. Um, but we're gonna go to Jacking Horse. I'm here with my friend Van Boys. He should be right here. I don't know he was following me. Um, and we're going to do some, some a boodle fight. We're gonna do like Sugba, um, Kitty Lao, all that good stuff. Um, yeah, so we're going doing it in Jacking Horse, which is one of my favorite spots. And a lot of my guy friends and the Dragon Boat team hang out there and do surf lessons. So, yes, let's go. Look who it is. So, it. Yeah. Ready? What is a boodle fight? I'm like, I guess I'm gonna find out. How was your surf experience? Uh, fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. With the best surf coat. Wow. Oh, so much Look at that. Damn. So big. Here's our, our food. Oh, no, no. Well, I'm at the jumping horse. Bro, where did you go? I'm waiting for you. I'll That work with okay, whatever. I'm outside waiting, like, cause I thought you were following me. I was watching you, and then like you're gone. Who? What do you mean? What? Whatever, whatever. Okay, whatever. Okay, I'm gonna go back to my house. Okay, bye. 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 I was, I don't even know how that just happened. My store is literally 50 meters. Okay, maybe 100 meters there. We're just at, we met up at my Barbie's ice cream store. And then uh, he's like, okay, I'll follow you. So we literally, like we could have walked. Like I just walked there to see him what happened. And he finally called me back and was like, I'm there. Cause he probably walked in from like, you can walk in farther from cloud nine. But yeah. And I told him we're doing a boodle fight. He's like, what's well, a boodle fight? And then we went to the market, got some fish. Got on. Hi. <laughs> Hello. So, Chenna. This is Jacking Horse. Here, it's a surf spot. A very nice place you can chill. I've, I've shown it a few times in my videos. It's nice. <laughs> I don't understand what just happened, but look who it is. <laughs> I found so, it. You yeah. Ready? What is a boodle fight? I'm, I guess I'm about to find out. <laughs> what is a boodle fight? I just thought I was like, I, I just recorded saying that, that when I messaged you earlier saying like, let's do boodle fight. He's like, what is a boodle fight? <laughs> There's no way you haven't done it before. You probably just, where, they, where we eat on a banana leaf. You know that? Yeah, I know that. That's a boodle fight. Oh, I thought it had to be the Hello, guapa. <laughs> okay, we'll say hi. Uh -oh. You just got off work? Huh? You were just finished tapos. Nice. Hello. Hello. You said you, you were up for more than three seconds? Yes. Yeah. How was your surf experience? Uh, fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs> With the best surf coach. So, yeah, you're a new surfer. You're learning. My name is Uritz. You're new to surf. Wait, uh, I'm just Espanol. Sí. Ah, okay, perfect. We can practice. Oh, cool. I haven't practiced my Spanish in so long. <laughs> ¿De dónde eres? Spain. San Sebastián. So, oh, okay. So wait, I would say like, es tu primera vez sí. like surfing. Mm. Perfecto. Okay, perfecto. <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow. There's so much stuff. Look at that. Damn. So big. Yabutan. What's that? Yabutan. The name? Oh, yeah. I thought it was Lucas. Same? No. Same, same. Same, same. Same, yeah. same, but different. In Tagalog, it's also Lucas. Malaki ang Lucas. He just. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hi. Oh. Si may mong dayan. Jasmine. Jasmine? Ako si Barbie. Yeah. Pilay mo dad. Five? Wow. Five. 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 So here at Jacking Hawaii, this is Marco Surf School. They're my favorite surf instructors. So you can come here, get a surf lesson. Afterwards, do boodle fight. 
So guys, people always ask me why I live in the Philippines. Look at this. We're cooking our food with this beautiful sunset. With the, um, there's surf. There's surf. Red instructors and good vibes. Like, come on! So they're all going out for a surf lesson now because um, it's high tide. So always high tide is when you're gonna do uh, they're gonna do their surf lessons here. Um, and then we're just about to wait for the food to be done, making the kingi lao now. Uh, I'll show you guys what we have here. Hi Barbie. What's up? What's up? Yay! How oh, nice, how so smart you cut it. Here's our got our food. How was your surf lesson? Was good? You did surf lesson already? Yes. Was good? Yes. We have a really big problem. No. So the most important food in the Philippines is? Balut. <laughs> Stop it. Balut? Rice. Balut. Oh. Rice. And we don't have rice. They thought they had rice, but we don't. So we need to buy, our, if we want rice, we have to buy rice. Yeah, but is it gonna get cooked? We gotta buy it already cooked. Well, that's the, that's the other thing. It's either we we buy it like, or... Miss Crispy? Yeah, it's like 10 peso each, true. Miss Crispy? <laughs> we don't have rice. This is like, we failed. That's the most important part about a burro fight. This is the, some of the food there. And we're cooking the, the uh, this is the kini lao, so we're cutting the pepino. Wow. Go. <laughs> Guys. I cannot believe this sunset right now. Look how beautiful. I don't think it looks good on camera, but it looks good yeah. in person. So beautiful. Don't pull the wing back. It's always helping, Tata. Yes. So I just explained on my, my phone. I'm against the light, so it looks bad. Uh, so Tata was the first person I met in Chargal, the first boy, because he saw me, my, my accommodation. My van dropped me off super far from the Airbnb, and it was this super muddy dirt road, and I had a big luggage, because I was coming from the States, um, like moving, you know, and well, packed for a few months. And then um, this, he was on a motorbike with his friend, and they like picked up my luggage, put it on the back, held it, and like drove through the puddles. It was the nicest thing ever. All right, guys, so most of you know, I have been living in the Philippines now for two years. So I'm originally from Michigan in the United States, and then I spent four years in Miami, and now I've been here for two years. And I, I came straight to Chargao because I'm also a fitness instructor, and I happened to see the post. Um, there's this group chat called Women Who Do CrossFit. So I was coaching CrossFit, um, and someone posted in the post, or in the group chat, explaining that there was a typhoon that hit Chargao and they've been rebuilding now for seven months and they're ready to reopen for their grand opening. And for their grand opening, they wanted to hire another coach. So please submit your resume, blah, blah, blah. And I promise you, I just kept scrolling and then I actually replied to the post um, and everything fell into place. You know, I believe everything happens for a reason. And when I was living in Miami, everyone there is from Latin America, so another different culture. So once I have lived there, it really opened up my eyes to what else is out there. Because America, I feel like they just brainwash us and they tell you that everywhere else is bad. You know, you don't want to go there, it's dangerous, blah, blah, blah. They're less than us, all this lies. Um, day one that I stepped foot in the Philippines, I fell in love. And the number one, number one thing is the people. The people here are so good. Like I just explained the story in my very first day here, my first 30 minutes here, how somebody literally, I'll try to find the video if I could put it in here, put their suitcase like on my, on their motorbike through this mud, just like out of their way to help get it to my Airbnb that I was staying at. And then the second day, or I think might even been the same day after I took a little bit of a rest, got settled. Um, I was invited to like, we went for a surf. I was invited for a surf 
some locals that I just met and then afterwards there was like a boodle fight. They were eating, it was like just minimal of rice and fish that they, they caught that day and they cut, they were like, come, come. They showed me how to like the tiny little fish, this small, how you peel like the skin off and how you get the meat. And where in my country, like if the fish is that small, they're like, oh no, that's useless, like you can't eat that. And um, and I sh they showed me how to eat the rice, like how you grab rice with your hands. And now to this day, it's like, I don't even think about it, but now I remember having to learn how to like eat with your hands, because in my culture, that's just like not a thing. So it's just crazy to see, like people always ask me um, how I've been able to adapt or that I've adapted so much. But just for me, I go in very open-minded. Um, like for example, like in that situation, let's say I was the only one not eating with my hands then like I'm the weird one like if you're all doing it it's normal for you you know what I'm saying so that's kind of like the point of view I've came with everything here um, that allowed me to adapt and I cannot explain that like I love simple living I love the simple lifestyle I always have always have it just opened up my eyes here to realize like wow this is like this is how I want and how I'm supposed to live and I'm so happy to fi find it like it's normal here you know what I mean um, even though back home is like I would still do it in a sense but like be told it wasn't right or be told it was like or as judged for it if you know what I mean um, so yeah that's why just like everything here is you know you really learn the importance of life and the important things in life and what you know what I mean I, I've become a better person since living in the Philippines and it's because of the Filipino culture traditions the people like I can not even begin to explain. I'm literally getting goosebumps just like thinking about my experiences here. Uh, oh my god, I'm actually getting like emotional if I really, uh, really think about it. So I'm gonna stop talking now. Wow. It's like Thanksgiving again. Thanksgiving. Every day. Every day in Shark We always get asked why we live here or why I live here. This one is why.